You got to watch uh, Jen Sucky's face. That's hilarious. She hates Peter Ducey. Uh, there is a mask requirement inside D.C. restaurants, yet President Biden and the First Lady were not wearing masks while walking around a D.C. restaurant on Saturday. Why? Well, I think what we were referring to is a photo of them walking out of a restaurant after they they had eaten, masked in hand, where they had not yet put them back on yet. So I would say, of course, uh, there are moments when we all don't put masks back on as quickly as we should. But I don't think we should lose miss, lose the forest through the trees here. And that our objective here is to get more people vaccinated, make sure that uh, that schools and companies around the country can put in place requirements to save more lives and keep people safer, uh, and you know not overly focus on moments in time that don't reflect over our. So basically, what you're saying is the elites don't have to do because they don't follow their own rules. From Bill Gates to Governor Newsom to the rest of the scumbags like Obama holding parties, it's all bullshit. She knows it, and she's the Joseph Goebbels of the 21st century. Policy. It was not just exiting the restaurant, though. He was walking through the restaurant with no mask on. There is a carve out for uh, people under two or people who are actively eating or drinking. So I'm just curious why the president was doing this. I think I just addressed it here. Okay. No, uh, you didn't. Why did the president break his promise not to enter into any decisions about what cases the Justice Department should bring and not bring? Uh, how did he break his promise? Well, <laughs> he was asked if the DOJ should prosecute people who defy January 6th committee subpoenas, and he did not say, I will let the Justice Department decide. He said, yes. Well, let me reiterate, and I put out a statement also on Friday night to this, uh, to this, uh, op- on this, uh, where I conveyed clearly that, one, the president continues to believe that January 6th was uh, one of the darkest days in our democracy. He also continues (laughs) to believe that the Department of Justice uh, has the purview and the independence to make decisions about prosecutions. And that is, continues to be his view, and that continues to be how he is, uh, he will govern. You say that that is his view, but that is not what he said. I just conveyed what his view is, and that is also how he has operated, how he has governed, and how he will continue to govern. And I think that's what's important for people to watch. So then what's changed since last year when he said, I will not do what this president, uh, former President Trump does, and use the Justice Department as my vehicle to insist that something happened? Well, since you give me the opportunity here, President, former President Trump used his office go. to incite an insurrection. He put political pressure on senior DOJ officials to propagate lies about the election to Bullshit. the point where they threatened to resign en masse. I think there's hardly a comparison there. But he said, President Biden said, the Justice Department in my administration will be totally independent of me. And he said he would not enter into any decisions about what cases the agency would bring and not bring. How is that and not he, exactly And he has doing? not, and he will not. And criminal prosecutions are their sole purview. Criminal prosecutions are the sole purview of the Department of Justice. That is the president's position. That is what he he nominated the attorney general to uh, operate under. That is exactly what the attorney general is doing. And those are the actions that people can watch from this administration. Next. Yeah, uh, like going after parents for standing up for their children. Man. Pound, fuck Joe Biden and Jen Psaki too.